Hello everyone, we're here with another SAF Blazor short video. This uh, video we're going to discuss like basic interaction with controls and things that you want to achieve in your app and the possibilities that we have with SAF Blazor now that we can use JavaScript interop or that we can actually use CSS to its full extent. So basically right here we have a body. Uh, basically this is a size unlimited and in this uh, text area, we're going to be adding text, and what we want to do is some behavior that doesn't come out of the box. For example, the first one will be that every time that I add a new test line, the the cursor goes to the last uh, to the last line. That way, you are seeing every, anything that is coming. That could be a I don't know a menu order. That could be some login. If you are doing like today, we have the server community stand up with the YAML logger, but basically anything that you want to see as it's coming through. And another one real simple is, I don't want to stay on the last line. I want the text area to take the whole space of the text. So for example, if we do the other one, it will take the test. And if we do another one, it keeps going. So those are basically two behaviors. And let's go back to and you see, it's taking the, the size of the, of the content. Yeah. So how do we do that? It's basically pretty simple. So the first thing is in our controller, we added those two simple actions and the only thing that we're doing is adding the service provider to get the GS runtime service. And we start adding any test text. We just want that field to grow. And we call JavaScript. So the part that we need to realize is okay we need to go to our uh, text area and we can inspect see the classes that it has see the how can we refer to this exact control from our code of course dev express does a lot of this dynamic id so we cannot use it directly but we can always go to the model add a custom css class and depending of that class we do the selector and we can say a find sari and from there the child, the first child, or find the text area inside the class sari and so on. So we didn't go crazy here, but basically we're gonna find that class, we're gonna find the element that we want, and we wanna focus. And basically that's the first example where we are actually putting our uh, cursors in the last line. And another one real simple is the adjust text area is in the second one that we're gonna be adjusting the height to the actual, uh, to grab the whole content. So these are two simple examples, but right, basically you can do anything here. I know that Hochi has been playing with AI and doing a chat, and in chat, this is a common behavior. You always have to <laughs> exactly. scroll to the last part of the content. So that's it, short and sweet, and see you in the next video.